Good morning, everybody. So, I'm doing another vlog. I know, back-to-back -back vlogs. Maybe that's not what you signed up for, but that's what you're gonna get. <laughs> Last week was a mess. It was pure chaos. And I didn't have time. Let's just say I didn't have time. This is all I have time for. So, another vlog it is. I have worked out and eaten breakfast. So I am going to shower because I am stinky. I am le stink. So yeah, I do have some new skincare to show you, but I'm not gonna talk about that until we get there. Let's just start the morning and wake up. I hope you're having a lovely morning. I'll see you in a second. Shower update. Um, the warm water just vanished. And I am mid-shower. I still have shampoo in my hair, so <laughs> I don't know what to do. And I'm cold. And I'm sorry this is filmed on my phone, but... Like I said, I am mid-shower and cold. So, yeah, that's my shower update. So I'm back from the health shower. That was rough. You know people say that you should take a cold shower to wake up. It doesn't wake me up, it just pisses me off. So I'm gonna do some skincare now because I turned 30 and suddenly started looking like Gordon Ramsay. So I bought skincare. So what I did pick up was the moisturizer from The Ordinary. And they only have one, so I got that one. And then I got the, oh my god, the names. <laughs> the Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. This is supposed to be good for hydration and I am crispy. Then I picked up the Argyline Solution 10% and <laughs> This one I actually picked up because I saw a comment that said Botox in a bottle. Yeah, that sounds ridiculous. I am ridiculous, but you know we're gonna try this out. Worst case scenario, I have an allergic reaction and die. So we're gonna try those and then I also have like an eye cream that I might put on bought this because it was on sale and I did use a cleanser in the shower which I've been using for years. So that's the Balance Me Pure Skin Face Wash. I think I'm gonna start with the Botox in a bottle. The Argyline 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 something solution. Apply a few drops on the forehead and around the eyes. Yeah my Gordon Ramsay forehead needs more than a few drops. I'm just gonna chug the bottle. Should I do drops right on my face? Or in the hand first? I'm just gonna do it on my face. It's just gonna get in my eyes. Let's do one on the finger first. I got scared. <laughs> now what? Uh. It's already going bad. It kind of burns. Okay, so we're going between the eyes because I got angry wrinkles since I'm taking cold showers and being pissed off all the time. I don't have a lot of wrinkles around the eyes, frankly. Do I have some on my lip though? I just put it there. Yeah, I'm getting those old crusty lady lips. Like what happens when you turn 30? Your skin just starts sagging a lot more. There's no creams that can help this. Yeah, let's do hyaluronic acid. Let's put acid on our face. I think this is going all over my face. Am I supposed to rub it in or pat it in? My face is kind of starting to burn. Beauty is pain. So creams. What do we do first? The 
moisturizer or the eye cream? I think eye cream, right? Because this is also hyaluronic acid. That's just, that's what I just did with the other bottle. So more is more. There you go. Yeah, I can't pronounce that. But this is supposed to be hyaluronic acid too, I think. Acid hyaluronic. I'm guessing that's hyaluronic acid in French. Put this on my eyes too. Someone is screaming at me right now. Just our face. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the moisturizer now. So let's just do like... Oh my god, it's like thick. Ew. <laughs> it's like a thick paste. I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. So that much, like a pea size. It smells like that... The thing you put on tattoos or babies. Like I don't feel very hydrated, I feel sticky. Like I have a lot of things on my face, which I do. I don't know about this one. I'm gonna do a bit more. <laughs> if, you're, if you're dry like me, then you know that tight feeling you get in your face after you wash it. And I still have that feeling. We'll give it a couple of minutes and see how it sinks in, I guess. Yeah, let's just leave it at that and I'll check back in with you later. I'm gonna dry my hair and put some real grown-up pants on. Quick update. So, my face feels fine. Doesn't feel dry anymore and I'm about to have my lunch. So, this is my lunch. Pasta with cabbage and some ham. Yeah, so that was my short update for you. I'm gonna eat this now and I'll catch you later. So I've been trying to get back into reading and I picked up this book, which is beautiful, which was why I bought it. Uh, Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. And so far, it sucks. I am very picky. And I say that knowing that I only read young adult trash. It's like your guilty pleasure movies. You know, the ones that aren't good. Like you know it isn't good, but it makes you feel good. So since I only buy books by the covers, I also picked up The Wicked Deep by Shea Earnshaw. Shea? Don't know how to say that. Apparently I'm a sucker for foiling. <laughs> That's apparently a theme here. Yeah, so this one was actually really good. And I would recommend it to anyone who needs like an easy read. This is thinner than I would like. That's what she said. <laughs> I do prefer a thicker book, like more along these lines. Um, actually, I like a good series because then you don't have to decide like, oh, what am I gonna read after this? This takes like a day and then you're back to square one of being like, need to find another book, you know? Yeah, so if you have any good recommendations for books that aren't serious, like I don't want to know about some kid that was locked up in a basement for 20 years eating fish heads. So I should do something productive today. <laughs> I should be going through my closet. I should be. I don't really want to. Mainly because I know that there's so much. I say so much, I don't have a lot of clothes. Like from what I have seen other people have, I don't have a lot. The thing is, 90% of what I do have I don't use. That's why I don't want to go through it because my wardrobe is going to be empty and that feels kind of bad. <laughs> I enjoy throwing things away but I also don't enjoy seeing an empty wardrobe because I don't know it gives the illusion of choice. <laughs> 
When I open the wardrobe, it gives the illusion that I have a choice today. I know that I'm gonna wear the same jeans and the same sweatshirt, but you know, it gives me a feeling that maybe I can find something else. But I do have a few new pieces. So I can show you the new things, if you care. Let's go. Yeah, this is a good angle with the Spanish robot in the background. I don't care. This is, it's too bright over there and it's too dark over there. So we land in the middle with the robot. So first up, this I actually, <laughs> I actually influenced myself to buy this. I'm gonna explain that. Um, in the last vlog, I wore my I Can I Will sports bra. And when I watched that footage back, I was like, the back of that sports bra is so nice. So I bought another one in another color. I mean, what can I say? Isn't that what influencers are supposed to do? Make you buy shit? Well, it worked on me. So <laughs> yeah, enough said. So these come in like super useful plastic bags. And I know I sound like a grandma, save the plastic bag. But they have these, I don't know, that type of closure with just, I mean, it's satisfying. Not sure what I would use this for ever again, but I'm going to save it. <laughs> I'm weird, okay? I'm weird. Let me have my plastic bags. I'm not a hoarder, okay? Just, that's nice. Yeah, whatever. So I picked up the green one. And I love it. They do have this in the white still. Uh, black and green and a couple of other colors, I think. Like more of a grayish white. But light colors and sweat. Those things kind of... Like, they don't go together. Let's just avoid that. So, I thought green was nice. And you know the back. If you saw the last vlog, it's gorgeous. It has cups that are removable. So, if you don't want them, just throw them out. If you're afraid of showing the nips, then leave them in. <laughs> yeah, so that's the new in from I Can, I Will. And then the other day, I was at H&M and I picked up a coat that I've been wanting for a while now. I realized actually on New Year's Eve <laughs> that I lack um, classier outerwear. I'm more of a function type of person. I will buy clothes because it's waterproof, windproof, keeps me warm. That's, yeah. I'm more of a function over style person. Yeah, so on New Year's Eve, we were going out and watching the fireworks. Everyone was putting on their nice coats and I didn't really think about it until I saw the pictures where everyone is standing in their like nice clothes and coats. And I'm there smack in the middle with my raincoat and hood up because it was snowing. <laughs> And I just look like a silly little Muppet. So I'm gonna put it on. Hold on. Yeah, I am fashion. So what do we think? Do I look le chic? I don't know. I think it looks dope. I know I have bunny slippers on <laughs> and sweatpants, but you gotta look past the sweatpants and bunny slippers. Just try. I really like it and it has this funky, it's not a belt, I don't know, it's just, just a thing, a floppy thing on the back. And it's split. You can't, how do, how do fashion people do this? It's split in the back, okay? Can you see that? It's split. But I think it looks kind of chic. I was contemplating another one because it looked slightly better. But then I went to do this 
and didn't have pockets. Like, no pockets. I can't, I'm sorry, but I draw the line. I draw the line at no pockets. I need them. Where am I gonna put snacks, keys? Yeah, we need pockets. So let me know how you feel about my coat situation. I did get this on sale. Cause you know, I'm a shit bitch. So this was 400 kroners, which is, and I'll just make it simple, $40. It was supposed to be around $70. Yeah, so that's my haul for you guys. <laughs> This vlog is going to be more boring than the last one. But I really don't have a lot to talk about. She says after she started a YouTube channel. So my brother wants me to do an origami video. And you know that quote from Batman, some people just want to watch the word burn. I feel like that's appropriate. I mean, that's just hateful. That's rude, hurtful, ungrateful, and I will probably do it, so thanks. Yeah, let's just get on with the day. I need to get off the floor, do something. Okay, I went outside and it wasn't great. <laughs> so I didn't bring you along outside because, well, I can't just whip out a camera in H&M because I'm anxious, you know? <laughs> this has to be a gradual thing for me to learn. So I basically just went outside to wear my new coat. That was the reason for going outside. <laughs> so, yeah, I look, well, my goal is to look unemployed chic. You know, like, I'm obviously unemployed, but I still have some savings. I'm also hiding the fact that I am five and still wears dungarees. You know, with a thick sweater over, it just looks like got jeans. But they don't know that I have a snack pocket. One step ahead, always. Yeah, so I'm gonna get out of the 300 pounds of clothes that I am wearing because I'm sweating balls. And then I don't actually know what I'm gonna do. I might grab my iPad and pen and sketch a bit before it's time to make dinner. Yeah, let's just do some sketching, maybe some editing. Then it's basically dinner time, which is my favorite time. So.
so tired. Boah. <laughs> I still have like gross shit in my eyes. <laughs> That's why it's called gross shit. I also have old makeup on. That's nasty. I shouldn't say that on the internet. People are going to get triggered. I have the hint of an ab. It should be a perfume. The hint of an ab. Ma! <laughs> Stop rambling, you idiot. You have now rambled for seven minutes. New record. When I was a tree house, I lived in a cake, but I never saw the way the orange lay the rake. Now our story's getting thin, I run out of luck. Listen now, little child, before I become a duck. I'm weird. So weird. 